All right, this is just a quick video for people who um, were arguing that this doesn't do four quadrant, it can't source and sync. So I'll make a quick video. I didn't, I didn't demonstrate that um, ability on the last video. So I'm going to be uh, testing this power supply um, and I'm gonna be using this as a dummy load. So it has to sync current, okay? So I'm hooking up the, um, the output of this to the output of this, okay? And so right now, this is set to, oops, this is set to four volts, okay? Four volts. And down here, uh, I have this set to 10 volt, uh, I mean a six volt full scale, so it's measuring four volts, and there's no current because there's nothing going in, right? Now if I pull up the current, you can see that we're getting negative current. Negative current is um, a load. Okay, and if we take a look at over here, you see that we're starting to uh, show uh, current in, in this supply. So this is acting as a sink of current. And I can adjust the current right here. So I go up here, this is about one amp. This is about one amp. And it's actually measuring 1.2 over here. Um, but, or 0.12, I'm sorry. So this is a point, point 0.12 full scale. So this is about uh, 100 milliamps and we're showing about 100 milliamps over here. So anyway, there you go. Just a quick video. Yes, this thing will sync current. Uh, if people are interested in this, um, you can look up the, uh, uh, the operational, man the operation service manual for this thing. Keysight has it on their website. It is an eight, I mean, a, a 6826A bipolar power supply. There was also a couple other ones in that series, but this one is the 26A.